doesn't matter how we call them, clients, users or whatever, we are talking about people and their lives. Why do they decide to dedicate to a specific idea? What type of experience do they get? Are they satisfied? These are the questions you will deal with during this model of analysis of the buying system and the user experience. Hi Dreamers! Yes, we are back with another episode of Keep It Open, dedicated to the open idea path. Every day, we get in contact with thousands of ideas, products, services, and organizations. And we need to choose quickly. Yes or no? Do I buy it or not? However, on what grounds do we make a decision? Our brain, in real time, starts gathering all sorts of information. Advertising, stories of friends, articles, fragments of a dialogue captured on the train or on the bus or whatever. It analyzes the information and prioritizes it according to reliability, trust and personal taste. Finally, it mixes everything together with memories of similar past decisions making moments. If we knew all that variables that influence our decisions marketing would be easy easy. Unfortunately, there are so many variables and some we don't even know exist, yet at least. What we can do is to control as many as possible, right? Well, in the previous models of uh, the Open Idea framework, you have seen how to begin and start on the organization the making of the product to make it unique, avoid to struggle against competitors and things like that. So there is a category of variables you have not considered yet, experience. As mentioned above, our brain gathers, classifies and re-elaborates a lot of data. A good percentage come from experiences, first-hand, self-made, by relevant arguments or indirect, coming from friends or total strangers. Often, mistakenly, it's believed that the only thing that matters is the relation, quality, cost of the product, service or whatever idea you have. Those variables are important, but are not enough to make us tell someone about our experience. In fact, the so-called user experience is made of many details that start from the moment of solicitation when the user expresses the need following the process of choosing, searching for information, judging and comparing, start leading the user to buy what is offered by you. The buying system, even though it's rigid, is based on user stereotype. Will allow you to use all the available data to analyze the whole process of purchase and understand better the users. Let's see how it works. First, you have to work on the trigger, the needs of the person to buy the kind of thing you are selling. Then, try to understand the things that the user considers, which are the options in the environment he has, which are the informations the user will search, and collect to decide how will they choose which brand to buy, what has to open and happen once the user has made up his mind to make him change idea and buy another brand. May a lazy shopping assistant help or an offer just before paying and uh, make that person change idea. Finally, once the user bought the product or service, which are the variables he will consider in evaluating his experience and with whom will he share it. Remember, where interaction happens is there that the magic starts. Analyzing the buying system will also help you identify to which moments of their lives you can participate in order to make the process more simple, functional, faster and even more pleasant. Try to pay attention to those stages of the buy system where the relationship of the user with friends, opinion leaders, salespersons, members of the organization, service assistants or whatever begins. This, the, purpose, the purpose is to find out which of those relationships and to what extent it determines the positive or negative outcome of the purchase and the customer satisfaction, of course. To achieve better results in this step of the Open Idea Framework, it's useful to have the data from any source you manage to get. Gather your team and try to set up a questionnaire or focus group with users, stakeholders, partners, experts of the field to better understand the process that may bring random persons to choose your idea and not others. 
So, this is all for this episode. I'm Ivan Turatti, remembering you to keep dreaming, keep creating, and of course, keep it open. Ciao, see you next week.